Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka the D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and yes, I, you know, still setting everything up because you know, you know, you know. Uh, uh, today, let me uh, hit this one more button right there. All right, good to go. Uh, I hope you guys can hear me. Um, just uh, setting up my live stream, so let's see. Um, today, I went to uh, Richmond, Virginia, for Virginia Comic Con. And, you know, um, I wasn't even going to go with my friends, uh, Chris. He was like, uh, D, hey, you want to go? I was like, let's go. So I uh, got up and I went. So happy I did. Um, I got one of my grails. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy and so excited about it. But um, uh, the show itself was actually this year. Uh, the attendance seemed to be down. I mean, we just went today. Uh, today is Sunday, so uh, we didn't make it to yesterday, Saturday. It's a two-day event, and so, um, you know, it wasn't quite as, as exciting as usually. It seemed like the, the number of dealers were down. It seemed like the crowd was kind of down. Again, that could be just because it was a Sunday show. I don't know. But uh, all in all, not too bad. But got me a grail, and that's what counts. But first of all, before I get to that, we always got to put that last. It's, it's kind of a rule. And, gosh, is this thing crooked or is it, am I crooked? I don't know. But um, we'll start off with the books I've picked up. Um, well, you guys know when I go to shows, I'm always going to get a big stack of 50-cent dollar band stuff. But before I get to those, yeah, before I get to those, uh, this one, these two also. Yes, okay. Uh, a few of the books I picked up there were a little bit more than that. Uh, I went to a shop in um, Charlottesville, Virginia uh, on the way back, and I picked up this one here. I thought that was an awesome cover. Uh, gosh, so bright, so bright. There we go. It is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one, Renew Your Vows. And uh, these right here are all in just a regular price bin. Um, Wonder Woman number eight, the Jenny Frazon cover. That is one of the ones I was missing. Hey, what is going on, Memphis Dale? How you doing? Uh, next is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 793. This is, of course, Alex Ross cover. There we go. Pretty sweet. Alex Ross cover, always awesome. Uh, then, at the show itself, um, these three right here were a little bit more, but they were in a half price bin. So, you know. So I still went ahead and picked these up. Uh, these two right here, I love these covers. It is uh, Moon Knight number 10. Man, that is a beautiful cover. <laughs> love that cover. Such an amazing cover. The, the covers on this run right here in particular were absolutely amazing. And then number 7, we have Moon Knight with Spider-Man. Actually, the glare is brutal today. Fuck off! What is going on? How did I like Black Panther? Well, I was sick the uh, first week it come out, uh, and then all my friends went and seen it, and now I'm still like, I still haven't seen it yet. And I'm sick about it because everyone that has seen it has said it is amazing. So I definitely, definitely have to go see that. Uh, next is part of the Batman run. And you guys know I'm trying to get from 400 up to current. And uh, so I picked up number 400. Finally got 400. Finally, finally got that one. So that one's knocked out. So I think I'm down to about six issues from having uh, from 400 all the way to the end. And then uh, the new 52, I need issue number one. And after that, I've got everything. So just about done with that part and then of course I'm gonna start going back from 400 so yeah <laughs> now my uh, one of the guys at the show he had a bin that was a um, dollar each or I, you could get uh, 20 for 10 so 50 cents each of course I'm taking advantage of that all day long second best behind the Avengers or the first Avengers hmm that's pretty good praise right there that is pretty good Glad you didn't include DC because we all know that Wonder Woman was the best one. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, first off, we're going to uh, go through uh, all these 50 cent issues. 
and then that grail is coming. Stick around for that because I am so excited about it. Uh, we have uh, Red Hulk. Uh, this is a, well, just Hulk. Not Red Hulk, just Hulk. It's uh, one of the variant editions, number six. And I'm pretty sure this is a connecting cover with uh, Green Hulk and Red Hulk. And they even have the other one, so that's all right. There we go. I think to think what my favorite one was, because I did love The Avengers. I really did love that movie. And I'm a DC guy, but love that movie. Uh, next is Brightest Day Justice League Generation Lost. I want to get a lot more of these um, Brightest Day and Darkest Nights. Because I hear they're really, really good. Haven't got a chance to read it. Wonder Woman was really good. Yeah, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Uh, Gail Godot was absolutely fab. Just, you know, I'm stuttering how good she was at it. She was amazing. Oh, by the way, tonight are the Oscars, by the way. And hopefully my buddy uh, Laura can uh, be back on. She's an actress, and so maybe we can get on again like we have the last two years and discuss the winners and losers on that. And uh, number two in the Justice League Brightest, Night, uh, Brightest Day, excuse me, uh, number three. There we go. I hope you guys can see and hear me everyone. pretty good. Number four. You guys know I, I like finding you know runs in these 50 cent bands. Love doing that. Number five. And number six. Now, I have to look it up and see if there was more to this run or not, because I'm not sure. There you go. And like I said, I hope the glare's not too bad with this camera as opposed to my other one. Uh, this is one I just thought, man, why not pick this up for 50 cent, right? Uh, the Secret Society of Super Villains number seven. Um, I was looking to see if it had a year right here on the front. I know it's old because it's a 30 cent cover. Uh, it's kind of beat up a little bit. But yeah, 50 cent, why not, right? There you go. I thought that was pretty cool. Got all the super villains going off on Superman right there. So that's always fun to see. And I was talking to one of my buddies. Why does Superman get so much hate? I don't get it. And, and he goes, well, he just has too much power. It's a good point. It's a very good point. Uh, these two, to be honest with you, didn't know anything about it, but I thought, that's pretty cool. Uh, it is Ultimate Iron Man number one, and I got two issues. Hey, these are uh, foil covers. If you can see the foil on them, looking awesome. Eh, eh. Oh, yeah. Oh, blinders. Are there. Sorry about that. So I thought those are pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, 50 cent, eh, why not? Let's see. Uh, X-Men Schism. I think I have one of these, but I don't know which one. Um, so I'm just going to... I went ahead and picked up all four of these. And it's a five-part series, and I'm pretty sure I do not have part one. So I picked up uh, issue two. Right there. And issue, what issue is this? Issue three. They had issue one. It was a second print. And you know what? I thought I actually picked that one up, but apparently I did not. Issue four. And issue five. The schism. I think that's how you pronounce it. Chism, schism. Jimmy Crack Corn, I don't care how you pronounce it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next is some uh, Uncanny X Men. Picked up a couple issues. That didn't have hardly any in that stack that I needed. Uh, 521 and a 522. There you go. Be sure to like and share and all that good fun stuff, too. I appreciate it. Uh, next is uh, a few issues of, what is this? Uh, the New Avengers, number nine. I think I had the first eight of these, so might as well pick up a few. Actually, you know what? I did not. I don't have issue two. I don't know if there's something in it or what, but it's never in the, the cheap bin. Issue, what number is that, ten? Yep, issue ten. I love this cover on this, by the way. That's a great cover. 
Uh, David Finch artwork. No wonder it's such a great cover. Uh, issue 11, Ronin Part 1. There we go. Off the... Next. I picked up this one just because it's one of the faces of evil. And across the runs of DC for uh, apparently March 09, they put a different villain on different uh, covers or different um, different titles. Now this is Nightwing, and they had Ra's al Ghul on that one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Good old Ra's. Get him, Ra's. Next, what is next in here? What is that? Oh, that's what that is. Web of Spider-Man. They had a bunch of these, and I really wish... I should have just gotten more of these, but I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. But I love this cover right here. Web of Spider-Man, number 22. Love that cover, him swinging around in there. I think that is awesome. And the old black symbiote suit there. I think that is awesome. Next, uh, actually I had 39, and I needed one more issue, so I just, I just went over and grabbed this one. Uh, it is Real World, Justice League of America, and this cover right here. It's cracking me up. This is a bunch of cosplayers. <laughs> Thought it was hilarious. There you go. So I mean, it's a it's a thick book. Originally it was five ninety five, but I just thought it was kind of cool. There's the back of that one. Like I say, it was a throw in at the end. So there we go. Next is Avengers: The Initiative, uh, number one. And to be honest, I thought I had this one. I looked at my list and I did not see it. Uh, this is a connecting cover. And this is the, what side is that? Is that the right side or is that the left side? It's one of the sides. Now that's the, that's the left side of it. And so I don't, gosh, I, to be honest with you, I thought I had this one. But like I say, it wasn't on any of my list, so maybe I don't have that one. Next, okay, I got two issues of this. Um... There's a reason. I've been wanting this for a couple of years. And it's not a grail by any stretch, but it's one of those things that I've really, really wanted. And now I've got two issues of it. Two issues of it. I should wait till Christmas to let everyone see the awesome image that is this. Lobo Paramilitary Christmas. This is one for a long time. I kept looking for it, never could find it. And now I've got two of them. There you go. Lobo killing Santa Claus. There we go. That right there is just the awesome image. That's what that is. Just pure awesome. Dang it. Okay. Uh, this is a this is one of those things I don't know why I get because it's missing a part. There's four parts of it, and it's missing part one. Why do I do this to myself? I do not know. Uh, if anybody's chatting on here, um, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, let me know if you are, please. Somehow. I don't know how. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've got part two, uh, Superman, Superwoman, Whom Gods Destroy. This is part two. I've never even seen these, so I don't know how I'm going to find part one. Unless I eBay it. This is part, what part is this? Part three. And this is part four. Oh, okay, okay. All right. I just I just wasn't seeing anything, Funk Off, so I just wanted to be sure that the chat wasn't messed up on it. Thank you so much for doing that for me. All right, we're almost done with the... Uh, these here until we get to the grand finale because I do like my grand finale. Uh, next is uh, Wolverine number 48. Uh, I saw this a lot. That is a heck of an awesome cover. But then again, most Wolverine covers are awesome. And I thought that was incredible. Now that was epic. Nice cover. Uh, next is number 49 from Wolverine extra sized issue there we go remember all these were 50 cent books so can't beat that with two sticks there we go 
Fuck off. Don't get in trouble being at work and looking at YouTube. Let's see. Next is... Let's put these in some kind of numerical order. There we go. It is Daredevil number 190. This is the double-sized issue. Not extra-sized, not super-sized. That is the <laughs> double-sized issue. Now, that's kind of cool. There you go. Uh, next is, this one right here, I love this cover. Uh, In Battle with Punisher, this is number 292. I actually picked this up recently. I was like, oh, I need another one because that is just an awesome cover. That is awesome. They need to uh, continue that when uh, the new season of Daredevil comes on. Next is 295. Got a little Ghost Rider with it. This one I may also have. I'm not sure about that one. Next, it is uh, just Brightest Day, issue zero. Thought that was a cool, again, another uh, David Finch cover. There we go. Uh, I think they, this is the only Batman I got in that bin because they didn't have any Batman. Uh, the Brave and the Bold presents Batman and the Demon. This is issue 137. Again, 50 cent, gotta jump on while you can. There we go. Next is a one shot uh, Dark Rain The List, The Amazing Spider Man, number eight, Kill Spider Man. Come on, kill no Spidey. Come on, that ain't right. Then again, sometimes he can get kind of annoying. Just saying. Come on, Spidey. Don't be so annoying. There we go. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Okay. All right, this works. Uh, this is uh, Action Comics number 872. This is part of the new Krypton. Yep, the new Krypton run. I really love this cover. <laughs> you got, uh, we got Wolfman. You have a zombie on there. You have, uh, who is that? Uh, Frankenstein. You got Medusa. Got uh, a vampire on there, you know, the Dracula, I guess we're going to call him. I just thought that was an awesome cover. I don't remember these guys being in Action Comics, but this is awesome. I guess on the new Krypton, these things can happen. And they're all fighting with uh, Superman. <laughs> the starting return of the Creature Commandos. That is awesome. That is just awesome. Uh, number uh, 873, another one of the Faces of Fear, we have Lex Luthor. So I know I have Parasite in one of them. Gosh, who else do I have? And I've got a couple more. Catwoman is, in, is on one of them. Can't remember the other ones, but it's a few more in there. Guys, if you just joined, be sure to like and you know comment. Let us know you're around. Uh, next is X-Men, the Uncanny X-Men. Oh, this one should have been earlier. That's all right. <laughs> Number 462. There we go. Almost done with the 50 cent man. Only two left. Uh, this is the Uncanny X-Men number 294. You know, the Executioner song. I remember when these come out, there were seemingly billions of them printed. They were everywhere. And when I still go to shows, I still... You're looking through stuff, you see this at the top of it. Yeah, yep, yeah, I know what that is. Part of that Executioner song. So, it's like, good day. But it's actually one I need from for my uh, Uncanny X-Men run. So I had to get it. And also, uh, 295. This one was not in the bag. Maybe they didn't have a bag for this one. I don't know. But I was like, why not? You know, i got to get it for that, that X-Men run I'm working on. There we go. And now, uh, my buddy Ricky Terry. I hope he's here. If not, then I've been teasing him all day about my grail that I picked up. I kept giving him little hints about this grail. I told him it was uh, one from a long time ago. I showed him the price sticker on the back, which I didn't even come close to paying that. If you can see it, it says 200 on there. Um, 
I paid, I, I, I paid a whole lot less than that. I told the guy a number, and he kept creeping out. I was like, this is the number I'm willing to pay on it. And be honest with you, I didn't want to, but I was willing to walk away if I didn't get it for this price. And he finally, he saw that, I, right, I guess he is going to walk away. And so he went ahead and said, all right, I'll do that for you. And I was like, all right, cool, I'll take it. But if you guys watched my uh, the beginning of the year, I was actually going to save this for my end of the year run to show you guys. But at the beginning of the year, I put out a video for my top 10 uh, list of things I hope to get this year. This was number one on the list. I've been warning this book for a very, very long time. And not only did I get it, I'm going to say I got this in much better condition than I anticipated being able to get this for. It is Muhammad Ali, uh, Superman versus Muhammad Ali. This is something I was dying to get. So happy, so happy. Hey, Funk Off, you knew what it was, didn't you? Glad <laughs> somebody watched. But I was dying to get this book. And, you know, I was like, you know what? If you don't want, if he didn't want to take them out, I offered him. I'll tell you. I, I said $150. i will give you $150 for it. And he was like, would you do 180? I was like, I'll, I'll do 150. So that, I was like, that's that's all I can go on it. And he was like, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. And I was like, all right. I was like, man, listen, I understand. I, I even I, I put it down. I was like, hey, at least I touched the book today. You know, that's cool. And he looked at me, and goes, would you do 170? I was like, I, I can't, man. Can't do it. Can't do it. And and he's like, all right, okay. He's like, and you know, he he had that look of like. He's going to walk away. And I was. I, I was going to. And he's like, all right, I'll take $150 for it. No, actually, I looked at him. I said this. I've got $150. I've got three $50 bills. And he was like, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> I said, all right, we'll do it. He's like, cool. And if you can't see it really well, I mean, the condition on it is absolutely amazing. I was very, very happy to get this. Very sharp. Colors on it really good. Ah, keep going the wrong way with it. Uh, I've got like a couple of, of minor little dings over here. Very, very minor. Um, so, man, this is a very, very high grade. He actually told me this. Now, take this with a grain of salt. He said, uh, when I got it, I read it and I put it in, I put it away uh, when I first got it. When it first come out. You know, that to me is the equivalent of you know, you buy a car from an old lady and she only drove it to church on Sundays and that's all she ever drove it. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But the condition that this thing's in, I believe it. I really believe it. So, so unbelievably happy. I finally picked this book up. Ah, number one on my list for 2018. So, you'll be seeing this again at the end of the year. I'm actually considering, because I didn't even realize they could grade the Treasury Editions, and I might actually go ahead and get this graded as well. After I look at it, of course. <laughs> Give it a good read first. <laughs> but, man. Muhammad versus Superman. <sighs> but, uh, that's all I got, guys. Um, if anybody's in here, chat me up. I like talking. You know me, I'm a very chatty person. It is an amazing... Yes, it is very iconic. Uh, last year, um, they had a Harley versus Superman, you know, a, a, a homage cover to this book, which I'm surprised there haven't been more homage covers to that. Very, very surprised. Very, very happy to have picked that up. So, uh, okay, uh, what's coming up in the future for our podcast? Uh, we're going to get this thing started again soon. I don't know exactly what week it's going to be i'm hoping maybe as soon as this week um i'm hoping to you know we still haven't even done our review of the 2017 comic book movies and if we don't get that done soon then i'm going to get that done what year's this book i want to say 77 i think it was 1977 um see the podcast uh so we got to do that. There's a few other ideas we've had bouncing around we want to do. We actually tried to do one one night, but uh, my friend Troy, you guys know Troy, uh, he couldn't get uh, his computer set up right to get that working. 
at some point i've been saying this for gosh way too long i'm going to be doing a thousand subscriber <laughs> giveaway which has been uh over a hundred subscribers ago i'm sorry i'm so far behind on that uh gosh i got so many other things we got to do uh hopefully i can get with my my good friend laura and we can do another review of the oscars uh she's an actress she's actually in la right now uh she just got signed with a company she's doing some modeling for so hopefully we can get her on again this year fingers crossed um troy and peasy they're doing really really well troy uh, for those who don't know, I'm going to cat out of the bag. Uh, Troy recently got his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. For those who don't know how difficult that is, uh, it took him uh, approaching 20 plus years to get that Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Uh, and he got it under uh, someone who is not only uh, a mentor, uh, you know, someone that they that the school is kind of under, uh, Hoist Gracie. For those who don't know, Hoist Gracie. If you know the UFC, he's the one that won the uh, three out of the first four UFCs. Uh, the Gracie family, uh, awesome. And he's uh, Hoist has been up to our, our school multiple times, and just an awesome guy, by the way. If you, you know, I, I don't, I don't have to gush over Hoist. Troy will do it for you. But he just got his jiu-jitsu black belt. We couldn't be more proud of him. Uh, PZ. PZ's doing great, still doing all kinds of fun stuff. You know, a lot of the big problem with PZ is, not a problem, <laughs> that's the wrong uh, thing to say, but uh, for him to get to where we do the podcast, it's about an hour drive each way. Uh, he's got a wife and a son, so it's really difficult for him to get back and forth uh, all the time. So, so yeah, it's really tough. Joker, Joker, what is up, buddy? How are you doing, man? Joker is in the house. Joker, I'm glad to see you, man. I hope you're doing all right. You know what? I'm going to reshow this grail. I, I hope you appreciate this. You probably already have two or three of them. I was so happy to finally get this. I know it doesn't have Joker on it. doesn't have Batman. But pick this up today. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> so... Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else has come with the podcast? Yeah, I want to start doing more live streaming and, and you know, getting... Because yeah, I love talking to you guys because it's so much fun. So very much fun. Jerk, we're doing great over here, man. Things are going really, really well. Hopefully, I can start training martial arts again. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm fat again. I'm very much fat again. I need to drop about 20 to 30 pounds before I go back to San Diego in July. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Yep. You know, you know I, okay, Joker, I'm going to tell you how I am about this. And everyone looks at me and goes, you're exactly opposite of how everyone else is. I am opposite of how everyone else is. When I get autographs, I get them on cheaper books. I don't know why I do. I don't like getting them on expensive books. I just never have. Uh, I just like keeping the, the, the expensive books like this one. I like keeping it clean just the way it is. I don't I don't like getting those autographed. And I know everyone else is totally, totally different from me on that. And I and the funny thing is, I totally see where they're coming from. Uh, I wanted to get, uh, was it 252? Batman 252? With the, uh, the Joker cover with the card. I wanted to get that one too and get that one. That's one, I love that cover so much, I might actually try to get Neil to sign it. But it all depends on what kind of mood Neil is on that particular day. Yeah, Neil Adams, I mean, he I've met him at, at a couple of cons. Uh, if, if he's in a good mood, awesome guy to talk to. If he's in a bad mood, you will see no one at his table. Uh, last year at Heroes Con, we were down there, and, I, and uh, one of my friends wanted to meet him. We were walking over there, and I was like, you don't want to meet him today. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, look, how many people are over there? He goes, there's no one over there. And I was like, exactly. <laughs> He's in a bad mood today. No. We were in San Diego. I was like, dude, today's the day you want to meet him. He had a huge smile on his face, chatting up everybody, happy as can be. So, Neil, depends on what day it is that you talk to him. Which, you know, we're all like that, I guess. I'm not kidding. I'm a sweetheart all the time. You know, I totally agree with Adam Hughes. 
I totally agree with you on that. I've never seen a more easily fake name uh, signature than Adam Hughes. I, I, when I see him, I'm like, really? That's that's the best you would do? It's just, uh, and an exclamation point. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Joker68 just said, go, um, am I going to bring a couple of donuts to him? Probably not, because I'll buy some donuts and they won't make it to the table. I'll eat them before they get there. I am a donut eating freak. Love me some donuts. <laughs> he will like me forever if I bring him donuts. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, Neil Adams and his, uh, not Neil Adams, yeah, Neil Adams and his donuts. Yes, yes. <laughs> Adam Hughes should definitely sign his full name. What is wrong with him? <laughs> you know what? I, I assume he was at San Diego last year, but I didn't see him. And uh, I saw on Twitter that he announced he's going to be at a show in somewhere in North Carolina coming up. But I asked him if he's going to be at San Diego, and they said, yes, he will be at San Diego. I was like, okay, cool. Maybe I can meet him this year. George Perez autograph? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I just don't know what I would get one on. I really don't. It's got so much great stuff. George Perez. That would be phenomenal to get. See, I've got Stan. Uh, well, I'll never get Kirby. But, you know, there's so many great artists out there that I would love to get. Uh, Donnie Cates, I'd love to get his. I hope uh, Art Germ will be there this year. Hope I can get his autograph. Ah, uh, Perez. That'd be great. I know uh, Frank Cho, he's going to be in um, South Carolina at the end of the month at South Carolina Comic Con. I want to go down there, but, man, that's a... It's like five and a half hour drive each way, and I'm not, and I really don't want to stay at a hotel. But dang, that's that is a lot of driving, a lot of driving. Del Auto, you know what? I did not see him last year, but that does not mean he did not go. Uh, Matina, uh, that's someone else. I don't know if they were there or not either. There were so many artists over there; it was insane. Yeah, yeah, I forgot I forgot about Perez having that heart attack. That's a good call. <clears throat> I, I would want to get uh Chris Claremont. I'd like to get him on a um on X Men. Pretty much any kind of X Men uh book there. That'd be awesome to have. He was actually in uh Charlotte. Not Charlotte, um where was that? Richmond. Richmond, uh I think last year, year before last. Our germ signs, but only signs at 12. Like, like he signs at noon, and that's it. You know, because, gosh, was he there? Because in my mind, I think I talked to him, but you know what? I don't think I did. I think I, I saw his booth, but I don't think I, I no, I, I did not talk to him last year. I kept thinking I did, but you know what? I don't think I did talk to him last year. Is that, uh, was that 283? Spawn 283, is that the one Matina did? Was that, I bought, I, I got the book and I never thought twice about it and everywhere I look, look on eBay, I, I look um, on uh, at the show today, people had it for uh, the A and B covers for 30 bucks. I was like, what in the world? I mean, I was like, it's a cool cover, but I mean, is it really? Really that expensive already? I mean, I was thinking, is their first appearance? What What's going on with it? Um, I asked one guy, and he said, well, he, he goes, I think it's the artist or something that did something. I was like, okay. And I, I if you guys saw my video, the um, the one I like better is the uh, the sketch, co well, the, the black and white cover. I, it just seemed like so many details was lost in the color, which was really surprising to me. 
Hey, what's up, Leonard? How's it going, man? Yeah, Leonard, you, you missed about uh, 50 books I just showed. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. So, Art Germ... Oh, wait a minute. He does sketches? Hmm. I've got some blank covers that need to be sketched. I just got a Supergirl, actually. That would be awesome to have. That is awesome. Oh, by the way, you know what? I'm going to skip all these over here, these 50, but, you know, you're one of my guys. I will show you my Grail that I picked up today. I was so happy. I like showing this a lot. I'm not going to lie. I really do. <laughs> this may, I, It makes me happy. It, it does. I spent a lot of money and I'm happy about it, which is really odd. You shouldn't be happy when you spend a lot of money. But I am. I'm very happy. Hmm. Hmm. I just noticed there's two stickers on here. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, I got it. Number one on my list, I got it. Actually, I just saw where someone commented on one of my other videos. Uh, he said, you can see the three connecting covers on those Supermans. Cause I'm like, I, can you see this? And like, I, hold, I can only have, I've only got two hands. I can't show all three of them at once. <laughs> yes. Yay. I might just, I might just, instead of going to bed tonight, I might just, just stare at the comic book all night. <laughs> Who wins the fight? I can't tell you that. I haven't read it yet. I just got it. Joker, no spoiler. No spoiler, Joker. No spoiler, because I haven't read it yet. <laughs> Seven, you know who, all, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Greg Horn. Uh, I asked him at, at Comic-Con if he did sketches or anything, and he gave, and he, he didn't even answer me. He just handed me a book, and <laughs> I was like, that is all, I mean, the sketch on it was absolutely insane and there's a sticker on that said seven hundred dollars he never answered me whether he did them or not but he's like yeah there you go i was like oh okay i get it i get it yes this is a mylar this is actually a mylar i was talking to my buddy chris he used to open up the uh he's telling the comic shop that closed I went with him up there, and he said, uh, "You don't want to keep those older books in the regular in the regular plastic because they uh, mess up. They will mess up the the uh, ink in them because like the old these are uh, old like news newspaper ink as opposed to whatever's newer, which I did not know there was a difference." He said, "You want to find mylar and put them in." I was like, "Now I know. Now I know." Got my money on Ali. Oh. Oh. You don't have your money on the number one University of Virginia Cavaliers? I'm just saying. I know they had nothing to do with the fight. I'm just saying. Woohoo. Number one. Which really doesn't matter at all right now that my Cavaliers are number one. We got to wait till the end of the season. I'm hoping at the end of the year I can buy a national championship Cavalier hat. I have a gut feeling I'm not going to be able to. Oh, good question. Uh, Funk all. You were going to a con. Did you make it? Boom Boom Comics. You are live. I think everybody knows everybody in here. Say hey to everybody. <laughs> boom Boom. How's everything going, man? <laughs> boom Boom's a big fan of uh, Superman. And a big, big fan of Booster Gold. <laughs> 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 
Now, I read that comment, boom, boom, and it was cracking me up. I was like, dang, you really do not like Booster Gold. <laughs> I was like, that was awesome. <laughs> hey, boom, boom, did you say you were going to uh, go try to make it down to Heroes this year? That'd be awesome to see you and, and chat with you and have a good old time. I just said that now, Boom Boom's probably never coming back. <laughs> it's like, I hate you. I hate you, the Simply Incredible Podcast. <laughs> hey, does anybody know who keeps giving me a, a, a thumbs down? I'm just curious about that. It's very, it's very intriguing to me that I keep getting that one thumbs down on just about all my videos. <laughs> Ah, Ron Perlman. Ah, I would love to get a Hellboy uh, comic autograph by him. Actually, I just picked up my first Hellboy comic uh, last week. Booster Gold's doing it. <laughs> T Rizzle Troy Champion. Yeah, I, you know, it's funny. I didn't even pay any attention to it being Mylar until you just mentioned I'm like, that is Mylar. That is a Mylar bag. Sure enough is. I'm actually considering reading it and then getting it graded. That's a very, very high grade. It's the only ones I've seen uh, were kind of beat up when I do see them, and I just don't see them very often. So I'm very glad to finally pick that up. So very, very happy about that. Very much the happy. Seven. Till, what? Ain't nobody work no 12 hours. Yes. Yes. Number one on the, on the list. Number one on the list. I've actually got two of my uh, wants this year. And, well, the other one was... Uh, Supergirl special, not Supergirl, Batgirl, the Batgirl special, and that was only like a like a five dollar book. I don't even think I paid five dollars for it, but it just happened to be one I really wanted this year. So there we go. Some of the Batman, I'm still trying to get that run from four hundred to current. I cannot find some of them. They're not even good issues. They're cheap issues. I just can't find them. It is very frustrating. Yeah. Let me ask you this. When the time moves up, are you going to have to work that day? Because that's going to be a 13-hour day. Wait, no. No. When it goes backwards, it's a 13-hour day. You have an 11-hour day coming up for the spring forward. My bad. My bad. I had it backwards. Everybody goes, you lose an hour of sleep. Well, if you're working, you lose an hour of work. <laughs> Man, how awesome is it? Man. What do you, what do, you do at work? I just sit in front of a computer and watch videos. <laughs> and read comics. I knew it was you! Because <laughs> you know I like Harley Quinn better than Joker. That's why, isn't it? Come here. Come here, girl. Like her better. <laughs> uh, sit back. Girlfriend, get over there. <laughs> oh. Anyway. 
DC canceling uh, six books. Which books are they canceling? It seems like to me I, I heard some of them, but I can't remember which ones I heard. Gosh, uh, what did I? Gosh, I read some of them the other day, and doggone, I can't remember which one it was. Super Sons, yeah, that's one I did not read. Uh, Teen Titans, I'm upset about that because I do love my Teen Titans. That's right, it was the ones connected to, uh, most of them are connected to Superman and Action Comics. Uh, Supergirl, uh, Super, uh, like Teen, I don't know how Teen Titans is connected to it, but Super Sons, uh, Trinity, uh, Titans. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the audience, let's see, where's Wayne at? Uh, well, right here is Lucille Ball. Right here. Um, Johnny Carson's right there. Uh, let's see. Um, right over here, I believe that's Henry Winkler, I think. Well, obviously, right here is the president back then, Jimmy Carter. And somehow another Batman made it here. I think that's Lex. Um... I think Donnie and Marie are in there somewhere. But that you know, on the inside cover, it shows everybody that's in there. Which I think is awesome. John Wayne. Good old Duke Wayne. A young Justice. That'd be pretty cool. I do actually enjoy... Gosh, I wish they'd bring it back. The uh, Young Justice animated series. I actually heard they canceled that the the animated series because um, they weren't selling enough toys, and that's the only reason they even started the animated series was to sell toys, which I think is ridiculous that they would do it that way. But you know, it is what it is, right? Oh, I'm asking you guys a question. If you're on the East Coast, uh, did you guys get a lot of wind damage and stuff? Because it's been brutal the last uh, the last couple nights. Some of my friends still don't have power like two days later. <laughs> you're welcome, fuck off. <laughs> Krypton show. That's not out yet, is it? I saw the, the preview for it. I thought, it looks interesting. I just, I don't know what to think of it. I mean, is that going to be uh, a young Clark Kent? Is that going to or, or be, actually be uh, the show in Krypton and maybe see how he got, how and why he got shipped to, um, to, to Earth? Lost your tarp and trash cans. Eh, no one needs those guys. Actually, we do need trash cans. <laughs> yeah. I didn't actually lose anything here. It's just, man. Uh, Troy, actually, you know what? Troy, uh, he had a tree fall through um, uh, one of his cars. Okay, he's got... Now, you know when I say that, it sounds like he's got a car lot full of cars. He has his truck and then the, uh, the family uh, Jeep. You know, like a Cherokee. So it's not like he's got like 50 cars, even though we all know he's got like 50 mansions. But that's neither here nor there. But yeah, a tree fell through uh, like the, the windshield of his car, of his uh, Cherokee. I need to go back and find another trailer for that because I just saw the one. And it just basically showed, uh, looked like a, a cape on a, 
I like a, a coat hanger, a coat rack, and a kid walk up beside it. So I need to go back and check that out. Wow. <laughs> 71 one day and then it snows so hard the kids can't go to school. Wow. That's insane. Yeah, we had 71 one day, then the next day it was back down to 30. And it's just, gosh, it's brutal. I just want my spring to kick in and stay here. Nah, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he'll just get, insurance will take care of it, I'm sure. Really? They're, they're having a, a teacher strike. Wow, I did not know that. Dang. Are they, why are they striking? If I if I don't if you don't mind me asking. Okay. Hmm. Uh, another one of my friends. She was a teacher for about a year. <laughs> She came from a, a private school uh, growing up. She was in a private, uh, basically a private college. And then she went into teaching uh, in the public sector. And she was like, I cannot do this. These kids are crazy. <laughs> and she, she quit, right? And she made it one year and that was it. Raising insurance, yeah. Teachers, I... Or, I mean, I don't know how they expect those teachers to work because they don't give them any money at all. It's ridiculous. They need to pay the, the, these teachers. It blows my mind that, that teachers or the people that we, we really need to pay, maybe not the most, but really close to the most, and they they just aren't getting anything like they should be getting. It's ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Yeah, let's give it all, to, all of our money to athletes and actors and stuff. And like, let's not... Give it to the people that help raise us and stuff. Let's not do that. Yeah, but it's a backward society. Really? Wow. The lowest in America. That's, wow. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Give, give the teachers money. Come on. Gosh. That's, that's ridiculous. I mean, the fact that they have to, to strike is, is it's just not right. I mean, help these people out. I mean, they're like day in, day out working with your kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's hope they uh, get that. What's the next grail? Uh... My, my next one is to um, save money. <laughs> it's, it sounds stupid, but it, it really is. Because, man, I honestly wasn't going to go because I'm like, man, I'm running low on, on money. So I was like, I'm going to take a week or two off from buying books. And there you go. <laughs> honestly, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I, I think what I really want to do is finish that Batman run first. That's really the first thing I want to do. Lewis, how's it going? Good to see you. Welcome to the room. Hang out and chat with everybody. We're just having a good old time. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? A teacher could get shot, but insurance wouldn't cover it. How ridiculous is this? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, enough, enough real world stuff. <laughs> Go back to our fantasy world of comics and movies and, and Oscars coming out tonight. All the fake people in Hollywood. <laughs> EC Horror Book. What is EC Horror Book, uh, Joker? 
How long have I been on YouTube? Uh, well, you tell me. You were one of my first subscribers. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we started in uh, September, I believe, of 2015. I believe that's right. 15, 16. Yeah. I think 2015 is when we uh, kind of first get, got going. Yeah, for those who don't know, Funk Off was literally uh, right there at the beginning when I started um, doing my podcast, my videos and stuff. It's been a long time. A long time. Did you just see a video I did like a couple days ago? <laughs> oh, that's what you meant. That's what you meant. I'm sorry, Boom Boom. I totally misunderstood what you were saying that, but yeah. Yeah, I, I fell head first and rolled a little bit. And there, I was about to get a set of uh, the Teen Titans today, and I should have gotten them. I love my Teen Titans. Yeah, yeah. Two and a half years goes by real fast. Really, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I fell off the bandwagon. Oh my gosh, I, it hurt how hard I fell. I actually have no opinion. I, I leave that up to people that are a lot smarter than me. When it comes to the weapons and things like that, I'm like, hey, y'all know better than me. I know I, I'm the kind of guy that, you know, I, just, I think they're just smarter people that can answer these things a lot better than me. Now, whether or not they are the people that are empowered to actually answer those questions or not, is a totally different story. I mean, I, I do know this. We had those police officers standing right outside and not doing anything to help these people. Maybe we need to do something about those people. Did I just see two people say the same thing? Man, that's a stuff one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I say, I, I would like to have an intelligent opinion of that, but I, I don't. I really wish I did have an intelligent opinion about that. For those who don't know, I just posted on Facebook a little while ago. It said, you should not look down on people unless you're trying to help them up. And one of my friends, why should you not look down on people? I was like, well, that's part of your problem right there, buddy. <laughs> my right hand types faster than my left. <laughs> not one, but touche. <laughs> That was an awesome, awesome line. <laughs> now, one thing I will say about uh, the politics, and this is it, this is this is it, that people get all, all mad when someone changes their mind. I'm like, you know what? Sometimes circumstances will make you change your mind. That's it. So I know I've had a, a, a diehard opinion about something. Things happen, opinions change. So, you know, my opinion has not always been, this is how it is, no other way. Sometimes, you know, your opinion has to change based on things that happen around you. So, yeah. Darn, boom, boom. I try to be a jerk as much as possible, and they ain't going to, you know, give me the old pat on the back. <laughs> N 
No, I got the regular one. I never get a chase uh, pop on anything or a chase wobbler or anything. I, they, I, like that one, uh, see, Marvel and DC, I've had the entire time. Never once did I get the chase on anything. And my subscriptions, I still can't believe they haven't run out yet. It seems like I quit my subscriptions a really long time ago. <laughs> Ain't that the truth, boom boom. <laughs> yeah, God. Feelings are, are the most important things in America. I, I jokingly told someone this. I, I was like... Because I heard someone say, um, if one person is upset about something, we'll look into changing it. And I said, well, I, I hate the New York Yankees and they hurt my feelings. Should You should get rid of the New York Yankees. It didn't happen. The New York Yankees are still there. I'm just saying. Just throwing it out there. You know, we need to get rid of the New York Yankees. They really are. Sub boxes are really, really dying fast. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, watching the Oscar, so I am actually going to leave here soon, so I can, um, you know. Like I say, I'm hoping uh, Laura gets on again this year with me so we can discuss the Oscars and all the good fun stuff. And, and uh, like I say, I hope she gets on again this year. If you don't know Laura, look up last year's Oscars and we talked about those. Uh, she's one of my really good friends. She's a model, actress, uh, former, and, and she will tell you a, a, a proud alumni of the Philadelphia Eagles cheerleading squad. She didn't get a ring. I don't. I don't think she'll get a championship ring. But she is a former uh, Eagle cheerleader. I don't. I would say Eaglette, but I don't know what their actual names are. So that's one of my buddies. So hopefully we can get her on again this this year. <laughs> the chapter's cracking me up over here. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, gosh, I, I wish the Oscars would back it up an hour so we would keep on chatting. But uh, I am going to go in here and check that out so I can. Uh, me, you know, like I say, if Laura can get on uh, with me this week, because she just signed a modeling deal and she's also doing other stuff with the the company. So hopefully, I can get her on this year. And if we, if she is on here, I can at least talk intelligent about the Oscars. But um, that's all I got, guys. Thank you guys for joining me, hanging out with me for the better part of an hour. So, uh, you guys, thank you so much. And have an incredible day. <laughs>